Hey guys, what's up? It's Lainey and today I'm giving you guys something that's been requested as of my last video. If you have been following my channel for a while, you know that I recently moved. I moved on August 1st and I moved into a two bedroom apartment. I spent a lot of time decorating it and making it up to my liking. So I'm going to take you on a tour and hopefully you guys would like this. I did try to say kind of where I got everything, if it was something recent or I knew where I got it from, but if you have questions, you know, definitely leave something down below and I'll try my best to kind of figure out where I got it from. A lot of my furniture is, I don't want to say antiques because that kind of just puts it into like an old kind of, but a lot of my furniture is um, refurbished. My stepdad really likes to redo different um, furniture and stuff, so I took a lot of the things that he has redone. Anyway, let's get on to the tour and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so we'll first start this part of the tour at the entryway. This is my front door. When you first walk into my apartment, this is basically what you see. So that's my living room up there. And then when you look down this way, you'll see the hallway into the two bedrooms. And we're first gonna start this tour in the kitchen. But when I decided to start decorating, this is the overall kind of view of it. Um, the kitchen was the only color scheme. I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I thought maybe black and white at first, but then as you can see, it's kind of morphed into um, a Paris-like setting. All this decor, I really don't know where it's from. Um, it was the decor in our kitchen when I was a kid, and then um, it was just kind of left over. My parents um, kept it, and they said I could take it, so I did. Especially because my kitchen has just like the brown, fake wooden cabinets uh, black and white definitely wouldn't have looked good with this so I'm really happy with how it ended up um, I strung some fairy lights up at the top here and at night it's actually really good light that filters into the living room which you'll see in a second it has this really nice like warm glow to it and I just really like the way it feels to me it also kind of brings in like the outside of a Paris cafe kind of feel with the lighting so this is my kitchen table it's a pub table and I originally had a kitchen table that kind of came out pretty much to here and it just didn't feel right with the size of my kitchen which is a pretty decent sized kitchen. Also this pub table came from my parents basement. They had one and the chairs actually were part of our island when I was younger in our first house. So we, I just took them and I used them for here. I really, really love the pub table. This is like my favorite part of the kitchen. It just looks really cute, just right over there. Also, like my favorite decor piece of the kitchen is definitely going to be the Cafe de Paris. I really, really love this. This is just, I just think it looks so cool. And then I just have these cute little storefront refrigerator. Don't need to look in there, so there's just food and then these cabinets basically all they have in here are like my mugs my cups and then like plates and stuff and I have a lot of storage space too so there's just always a bunch of alcohol my stove is really really ugly but it does the job so so that is my kitchen I'll show you what it looks like here on this side from the living room I should have taken those Dasani water bottles down shouldn't I have Oh well. So next I wanted to show you guys my living room. So you can get to the living room two ways obviously. I really loved how it kind of just opens up into the living room from the kitchen. I'll just kind of do a sweep again first before I get into it. I'm currently watching Las Vegas. First I want to talk about kind of like the main attraction I guess of the living room which to me is obviously the sofa the end tables and the decor pieces up at the top. Couch is from Slumberland if you are near one. I don't know how chain store they are. The theme for this, I'm trying to make it as cozy as possible and I'd say my living room is about 95% complete. Um, I just need a couple things that I'll kind of show you where I feel like I need stuff. How I just came up with these color scenes, I don't know how well they show up on camera, but I had this green chair. I've always had this green chair. It is so comfortable and it's like the like foresty looking green kelly green I, i'm just not sure what's but it's so comfortable and i really like it i wanted to base the living room around green i guess but then i thought what's good with green brown is good with green also i had 
these end tables which are wood and they're really nice so green and brown was kind of the theme I was going for here. So far I'm really happy with the colors that I found for complementing the furniture. Um, I, I, I do plan to get a couple more throw pillows for the couch because I just don't think two is enough but I'm really really picky when it comes to the colors so like everything I've always found I've always vetoed because I just haven't liked that particular shade of green. These two on here are turquoise. These are from Gordman's and they were $3.99 each. I think there was a mistake because that was insane to get throw pillows for $3.99 a piece. This area rug here is the perfect area rug. I don't know if it, you can really tell on camera but it ties the entire room together because it has the browns, the turquoise, the green, the aqua. It has all those kind of colors there and I love it. I throw blanket here on top of the couch. This was a gift from my Nana for Christmas one year. Like I said, these end, ta end tables are antiques, so you I, I can't tell you a store and you'd find out where they're from. Here on top of this, I have three candles. These three candles are all from Target. This little holder I have them in is from TJ Maxx, and I have four coasters of these like wooden things, and you'll see them on the other end tables. Those were also from TJ Maxx. For the above, art decor I guess. Um, the center one is from Target and the two on um, the sides are both from Hobby Lobby. This shelving unit came from Target and it's a little bent in on the corner here and I think that's because when we bought the shelving unit it actually is supposed to be vertical but I didn't like it vertical. Um, I wanted it horizontal so it like looks better above the couch. So I think that's why it's like that. And I think since it's supposed to be, you know, that way, it would be hanging down on the bottom so it wouldn't be kind of coming in. But I don't care. It's barely noticeable when, I guess, if you're looking at it long enough, you'll see it. But I don't care. All these little trinkets on it are all from TJ Maxx. The LED candles came with the unit. And I guess these this isn't showing very well, but it, it is brown. Um, the shelf unit is brown to match um, the living room. And then over here I think is my favorite end table. I don't know where the lamp is from. <laughs> these things like the Paul Revere lantern and the LED light, the piece of wood, um, the piece of wood coaster, and then this little crystal thing with the LED candle in it. Um, those are all from TJ Maxx. I found them and I really loved them and I think they kind of fit the vibe. That's just another coaster with a K on it. K is my last name. And then these bookends are from Target and when I saw them I immediately thought of putting the bookends on um, my end table with these specific two books in the middle because the colors of these two books fit the overall theme. These two books are from Barnes & Noble. Over here in this corner I have my tall floor lamp. Again, I don't know where this floor lamp came from. I've had it forever. And then over here, I have my mirror and I want something below here. I feel like there should be like a leaning bookshelf or something. I'm above the TV, I have this little design. This whole thing came from TJ Maxx. It was 20 bucks. It's bronze, so that also fits with um, the theme of the room. TJ Maxx is the best. I also got this little tote at TJ Maxx. I just put like all the Wii stuff because I have a Wii so I put all the Wii stuff mainly. This is my entertainment center. It is a coffee table but I've always used it as an entertainment center. I've always put my TV on it. This K um, is from TJ Maxx of course and then I just have my Wii on the other side and then what I was gonna do was I was gonna get little fabric bins to put my favorite DVDs in because um, I have more in here but these are kind of like my favorite DVDs that I always watch and I really love and people know that I love them. So I decided to actually display my favorites here in the little cubby holes because I felt like it displayed more my personality. The last part of my living room is going to be this section over here. I just have my green chair here, my other end table and I also have this arrow decor piece. Um, this is from Gordman's down here. Um, I have the other coasters of the wood thing. I'm right now burning one of my favorite scents for fall, Spice Pumpkin. This was also from TJ Maxx and then that little ball thing is also from TJ Maxx. That's it for my living room. 
Hope you liked it. Moving back out into kind of the entryway. Another thing is I kind of want to put something right here, which is part of the living room, I guess. I want to put something here. I do have my mat for my shoes. And then maybe something like right here or right here. I just haven't decided yet. And those aren't things that I feel like I absolutely need. So I can save money for something nice. This thing is where my water heater is. If you can't hear it, I have my air on right now. Um, we're not going to go in there because it scares me. This, for first closet, I have a lot of storage in this apartment, which I really enjoy. But we're also not going to open this because for some reason it really smells. And it smelled when I first moved in and I don't know what it is. It's probably like a dead body hiding behind the, the, the wall. So um, basically all I have in here is just some random things like my vacuum cleaner and my broom and stuff. This closet, this closet I don't care about showing you. So what's in here is just kind of like my cleaning supplies, my candles, extra towels. Next we're gonna look at my bathroom just because the bathroom is really boring to talk about and the next two rooms are obviously gonna be favorites. The shower curtain is from Bed Bath & Beyond and the little hanging thing is from Hobby Lobby. I'm not super thrilled about the the saying, oh happy day. I mean it's fine, whatever I guess, but what I really wanted it was because it matched perfectly to the shower curtain. It has turquoise white and black. Turquoise white and black. This is my mirror. I really really like this mirror. It's super wide and bright and I'm able to do my makeup in here because I used to do my makeup in my room at my old apartment. I have a vanity storage space underneath. This one literally just went out like yesterday so Last part of the tour is going to be my two bedrooms. So I have the first bedroom here, the second bedroom here, which is my actual bedroom. As you walk in here, um, the first thing you kind of see is my bookshelves. These three bookshelves are all from Walmart. Up here, I have fairy lights and they wrap around two walls. These fairy lights are from Target. They're really, really great. I 10 out of 10 recommend these kind of um, lights if you are looking to get some lights and they weren't very expensive at all I think they were like $15 for this whole string up here I have some book posters these ones are all specifically maps so the first one is Ember of the Ashes um, the second one is Six of Crows obviously and the last one is the Forbidden Wish by Jess R. Croy. I want to get more to kind of wrap around here this room is black and red as you can see hopefully it's not too messed up so that was my theme. I had the black bookshelves. I thought red would be a good color. Red, FYI, is the hardest color to decor for. I had a hunt for all of this. I had a hunt for this area rug, which is from Walmart. I had a hunt for this red chair, this red office chair, which is from Shopco. Uh, and then these red storage bins. I'll get more into these in a little bit. Um, they're from Target. Right off from my bookshelves, I just have this little corner where I have um, my monthly calendar and then I also have this red clock. I don't know where it's from because it was in my old apartment and no one was claiming it and I decided to take it. Here I just have um, the booktube poster that I got from Melody. Um, she made that for um, the, all of us that went to Y'all West. I had these in my bedroom originally in my last apartment. They're just sayings that I just really really enjoy. I want to eventually frame them. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So they're actually greeting cards and I've just taped them together and then I um, put them up on my wall. Over here is my writing station. The desk is also from Walmart. They're both from the same company of my bookshelves as well so I knew that this black was going to be the same wood finish as um, the, my bookshelves are so that's kind of why I wanted to get a Walmart desk. I also wanted to get a desk that was super simplistic so I didn't want a bunch of storage on either side of um, the, the desk and this one doesn't and I really like that a lot more. I just wanted really simple didn't want a lot of clutter. Next we're gonna go to this little piece of furniture. Um, this whole thing right here. This is actually part of my bedroom set which you'll see but I actually wanted to move this over into my office just because I really liked it and I had a vision that it would look exactly like this when I was thinking about decorating my office. I have my printer on top. Down below is just a bunch of things. I have like my Sudoku puzzles in there. Um, just some office-y type things. I think I have like the first draft of my first book I wrote is somewhere in here because I just when I was going through it I just could not there it is I couldn't part with it and I like 
I felt like I achieved something great when I wrote, you know, the first draft of the Red Riding Hood story, so I didn't want to get rid of the first draft. Like I said before, the red storage bins are from Target, and I don't remember, I'm sorry, I don't remember where I got um, these Brooklyn Bridge um, Cityscape um, storage bins. I, I got them when I first started school, so when I was 18. So above this little um, shelf thing, I have um, my favorite authors, I guess I could say. Um, this is the same shelf from the one out in the kitchen. This is its twin. They both came in the same little box. So I decided to put this one in here. And then up above I have My Holy Trinity, which is Morgan Rhodes, Mary E. Pearson, and Lee Bardugo. I have my No Mourners Nor Funerals mug right below the Lee Bardugo one. And then I just have like my signed swag that I've also gotten. My Fallen Kingdoms kind of collection and stuff like that. And then the last thing in the office is my tapestry and this tapestry is from Society6. really wanted a tapestry in this room and I knew I was going to have a, an empty wall and this is a large one and then I also didn't really know how to hang the tapestry so what I ended up doing I went to Michael's and I got like these big black decorative um, clothespins to hang them this way. I would say this is like my reading wall I guess. I tend to read on this area, um, I have the black ottoman. I don't remember where that's from. It's probably from Target. This is my chair. This chair is from Bed Bath & Beyond. Again, I got it when I first started college, so when I was 18. It is the most comfortable one of these chairs that I have ever sat in. It's so comfortable. Since this is a two bedroom, I have more closet space, which I really, really like because I have a lot of clothes. I kind of just have like my summer clothes in here since it's becoming fall, so I have like my dresses and my maxi skirts. I have totes, backpacks, purses up here as well, and I have like my suitcases and some shoes. So, and that is the office. I love this space. And then leaving the office, the last room I have to show you guys is my bedroom. I have had this bedroom set for three years and I've had feel no reason to change it, change it up, because I just love it. And we'll just start over here, I guess. So, closet. This one has a lot more of my stuff in it. Um, actual clothes. Up there I have extra blankets. So it's also still pretty boring, I guess. I'm not a beauty guru, you don't care what I wear. You'll see that I have a lot of black and white photos of cities in this room and that has always been kind of my theme. I don't know where any of, oops, of my posters have where I got them. I would suggest, I'm pretty sure I got them from either Michael's or Hobby Lobby. They always have black and white photos of cities, so I would suggest going there. I know I got the famous Paris places. I got that one from Michael's. I know that for sure. Over here is my nightstand table. What I have on it is kind of just the basics. So I have like my sunglasses that are my current sunglasses, the watch I usually wear, and my glasses couple pictures of me and my mom and then of my brother and then my eye home with my iPod on it. I usually have a coaster in here because I'm always bringing in drinks or whatever at night and my current book that I'm currently reading. Uh, this lamp I will say I have no idea where it's from. And then here is my bed. I cannot for the life of me remember where I got this bedspread. Pretty sure this blanket that I have here that came from Walmart. The brown blanket might have come from Sam's Club. Since I'm going to go over to my vanity next, I thought I'd briefly talk about my bedroom furniture. Um, they are all a matching set and they're all antiques. So I'm pretty sure they, are, they originally were like white or they were like a really ugly green or I can't remember what they were. But my stepdad found them and he got them for me and then he painted them black because he knew the black would match this bedspread. I used my vanity a lot at my last apartment just because um, I couldn't use my bathroom very much but now since I'm using my bathroom a lot more I don't use this as much. I don't know how well this turns up on camera but it, it, there actually is a lot of space here in here. I never feel cramped when I'm opening up any of these drawers. These are obviously from Victoria's Secret. I, these used to be really full. I've always had stuff in them at my last place but they're empty now. Uh, but I still really like them. I like how they look on my vanity. So this decor piece, no idea where it's from, but I've had it. And then this right here, um, that's a picture of me, my mom, and my stepdad. Another decor piece. Um, and this over here, it holds like kind of like my makeup. 
So this is my everyday makeup that I use every single day. Um, back here is old makeup. I've condensed, I used to have totes full of makeup, but when I was moving I got rid of so much old stuff. So now I just have like my backups in here. And then in here is my nail polish. In here are like scrunchies and stuff. This is my favorite poster in this room. It's uh, again, I got this one at Michael's. It just has all of like the famous um, places to visit in, in France. Over here, um, this is obviously my dresser. I have clothes packed into it. This is my television in here. Up here I have more lights. These are what they look like. Um, they're from TJ Maxx. Uh, I'm not a, the biggest fan of the color. It's more of a bright white than a warm light of like what all my other fairy lights are. But I do really like the way it looks hanging over my TV. It just also just fits the theme of like the city. So I was like, I really want them. So I hung them um, up there. I like how they're not up against the wall, that they're hanging, you know, in a droop. Last thing I have over here are my other two posters. First one is of San Francisco and the second one is of Central Park. This is the last kind of sweeping view of my bedroom. I really love it. It's small, but it's super cozy. And that's it for my apartment tour. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope I filmed it correctly. I was watching a lot of apartment tours to try to get down the exact filming technique for this. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys all have a really great day. See you guys soon. Bye!